All right, good morning. Today we're gonna to install the RV lock. It's a uh, latchet, it's a latchet brand. And uh, pretty excited about it. Look, I bought this one specifically because it is all metal. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. It's all metal. The case, front and back, no plastic. And um, that's what we were looking for. I read a lot of reviews on Amazon and stuff. And this is the only one that I could find that had both uh, front and back, all metal, no plastic. So pretty excited. Um, the only bad thing I ever read about it was that the uh, the little clicker, the remote, the fob, um, the button stick out a little bit. Somebody said the button stuck out a little bit, so they didn't like that if it was in their pocket, uh, it might unlock it. So other than that, I mean, that's not bad. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So that was my install video, not very in-depth, I know, I just threw it together um, just to let you know that it's pr it's pretty easy to install. The biggest thing is when you're tightening on the screws onto your door, the two plates, one on the, on the outside, one on the inside, when you go to tighten them, just kind of make sure that you line up the keypad and the outside to where it's kind of even uh, so it doesn't look kind of cattywampus, <laughs> so it doesn't look kind of crooked um from the outside so it, it bothered me so when you walk up to the door the first thing you see is the keypad kind of tilted at an angle not maybe not that drastic but you know the gap from the top and the gap from the bottom weren't quite the same so that kind of irked me so just loosen the screws a little bit from the inside uh pry down on it uh it, it's not too difficult but it is kind of kind of tough just pry down on it a little bit tighten the screws as you go and you should be able to get it pretty tight uh, that way another thing we suggest is this thing runs off of four AA batteries you keep seeing me look down there because I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the the lock to remember what I'm gonna talk about it runs on four AA batteries so with that being said the four AA's power the deadbolt so if you're outside let's say you lock your door with the deadbolt um, obviously it's electric so I don't know if you're gone, let's say you go on vacation from your camper or you don't live in it. So you lock it and it sets outside of your house. Those batteries can die eventually. So what I would suggest and what we did was buy a magnetic uh, hide key. Uh, I found one on Amazon. I can put the link in the description. It's like a um, master lock brand, I think, um, hide key. Big strong magnet, magnet on the backside. Put one of your keys that come with the latchet make sure it's from the latchet not your old lock because that's not going to work put one of those keys hide it somewhere on your trailer hide it on if you live if you live in a campsite like we do right now we're staying in a campground we're stationary for the time if you're there maybe um, connect it or, or hide it on somebody else's camper fifth wheel travel trailer whatever uh, so you know if somebody's trying to break into your place 
they're, if they're looking around trying to find your key, it's not actually on your camper, it's on somebody else's. Just an idea. Definitely hide a key somewhere. Keep it in your vehicle, whatever you wanna do, but these, these batteries will die. So it's in your best interest to have a key put somewhere or uh, you might be climbing through a window or calling AAA. I, I don't even know how you would get in, to be honest. I don't know how to break into one of these. So i um, trying to alleviate that from hiding a key. Uh, so that that's one of our biggest things is make sure that you have a key somewhere not in the camper Because the batteries will die and you might get in trouble Other than that we have had no issues. It's been great. It's been real nice being able to just walk up to the camper uh, You know hands kind of full you don't have to fumble in your pockets trying to find your key Just walk up type in your code hit unlock boom. You're, you're inside uh, Same when you're leaving just type in the code lock and, and you're, you're done uh, honestly, I can say that we've had it. I think I said I think we've had it for a week now And I can say that we have not used the key fob But maybe once and that was just to play with it and uh, other than that. I don't think we've used it really at all So keep that in mind. I mean, you know, everybody's different uh, You might use it more than we do, but we really haven't touched it at all to be honest once or twice And that was just to play with it. So Something to keep in mind. I know some of the other systems sell one fob uh, with them and, and they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, not Latchet brand. I think maybe RV lock. Uh, so just keep that in mind if that's something you're looking for. Uh, if you don't really care about the fob, uh, might be something that you, you might want to change your mind and go look at somewhere else. We haven't used it, like I said. But definitely, uh, I would definitely recommend this. It, it's great. Uh, I wish. It would be really cool if they built in the technology to like Bluetooth so you could lock it from your phone, you know, or, or Wi-Fi or however you would do that uh, to get like a peace of mind if you're out of town or you run to the store and you're like, crap, I forgot to lock my camper or whatever. That would be awesome. But this latchet system, you guys should check it out. Um, I'll put a link on the, in the description for Amazon. That's where we bought it from. And uh, it came real quick super install it says 10 minute install mine took a little bit longer i fumbled around dropped a screw or two and then uh make sure when you do it you pull the wires through you don't crimp them when you tighten the casing on the outside to the to the body of the door other than that check out the video i hope you guys liked it make sure you guys subscribe like the video uh comment below uh you know <laughs> we're trying to do this thing we're not we're not professional uh videographers and photographers you know, we're just using a GoPro Hero and an iPhone. We've got the drone, but we're just uh, documenting what we do out here. And, uh, you know, hopefully somebody's enjoying it out there. And if not, I've got videos. We've got videos for our kids and our family to see, you know, later on down the road. So you guys have a good day.